God is never wrong. And God is sovereign. He has a right to make the choices that he decides to make. And so he decided that he was going to make the choice. Now, here is Jesse. Responsibility is to present his sons to, uh, his responsibility is to present his son, I mean, here is Samuel, uh, at a place as the prophet with the responsibility to judge each of the sons that is presented to him. They want somebody who is tall, somebody who is handsome, says the Bible, somebody who looks just like Saul. But here we are in a place where God reminds them, I don't want somebody who looks like the somebody who is already messed up. I want somebody who did not, has not messed up. I want somebody who can take this challenge and this responsibility. And I'm not concerned about his age. I'm not concerned about where he fits in the family tree. What I am concerned about is the wisdom and the heart that he brings to the position so that he might be able to demonstrate that in, as he tries to do the work that the Lord has called him to do. Sometimes we make mistakes because we really don't know what God really wants out of us. Amen. Sometimes the choices we make were not the right choices. Some folk got into marriages and you knew when you went down that altar to that altar <laughs> that you didn't feel good about it. Amen. You knew you... <laughs> that was a pretty loud amen right there. Somebody say amen. Uh-huh. You knew that you had some doubts. You knew, I, I, I ain't going to ask for raise of hands because you may be sitting next to your spouse. We don't want any trouble up in the house. But, 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 but a whole lot of folk you see going in to, down to that altar to get married, a whole lot of them got a whole lot of doubts before they make that final commitment when they say, I will be with you for until death do us part. And then they get home and start wishing death would come pretty fast. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Amen. You don't believe it, but there are some folk who wished on their wedding night that this was not my wedding night. Amen. But it happens in all aspects of life. We make some terrible decisions. We talk about the discerning spirit, but we don't really wait on God to give us a discerning spirit. And we want what we want when we want it. And just like they wanted somebody who looked like Saul, who was tall and handsome, some of you sisters out there looking for that tall, handsome brother, and then all of a sudden you discover he ain't got nothing. <laughs> Amen. Not in a position to get anything. Amen. Living all for you. And it works the same way on the other side of the aisle. Somebody say Amen. Sister thought that this uh, sister thought that this brother looked good, but this brother thought this sister looked great. It ain't about looks. That's not what defines the nature of a relationship. What defines the nature of a relationship is what's in a person's heart. Amen. And so this text is all about trying to get our hearts right, knowing that if our heart is right with God, we have the ability to be able to make righteous decisions. And if we have the ability to make righteous decisions, God gives us uh, the capability to achieve to the degree, to the maximum degree of our capacity because we did not choose for ourselves, but we allowed the Lord to choose for us. And when God chooses, God never chooses wrong. Amen. Praise the Lord. As I was talking to this, as I was talking to the brother today who is charged with this responsibility, and uh, tears were welling up in his eyes. He's been married to the same woman for 69 years. And you can imagine what kind of pain he is going through. I'm talking about those kind of relationships where you know one another, so you come to know so much about the person that God puts into your life, and not just in terms of marriage, but in terms of all other things, all other aspects of your life. Here we are in a ministry. We have to be very circumspect about who we bring into this ministry. Amen. 
We've had some good people and we've had some bad people. We've had some righteous people and we've had some unrighteous people. Everybody who say, yes, yes, I know the Lord. Yes, yes, I love the Lord. is not necessarily the person who's going to be the proper person to put into a position in the body of Christ. Amen. You don't know what you're getting until you take an opportunity to ask God, God, what do you say about this? How do you feel about this person? And I will confess to you, over 35 years, I've had to have made some mistakes in some of the folk that I chose. Somebody say amen. 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 I know I made some mistakes. I wouldn't have been in a federal courthouse on trial if I hadn't made some mistakes. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. Folk offer you a whole lot of stuff, tell you how good they can do this and how good they can do that. That happens to be your need for the moment. And because you're desperate to fill the need, you find yourself bringing them in. And sometimes when you forget, it's not about what's written on somebody's resume. Somebody say amen. amen. It's about learning how to examine somebody's character. Ultimately, it is character that defines how well a person will do if you put them in a position of authority, a position of responsibility. Amen.